breathing properly can transform your mental health and physical well-being. But many of us go through daily life breathing incorrectly. I did not know. For this week's Wellness Wednesday, a local nonprofit is here to share some proper breathing techniques that will leave you feeling refreshed and much more. Would you please welcome founder and CEO of the Breathe for Wellness Breathing Foundation, Functional Breathing Foundation, <laughs> David Ritchie. I am so Thank glad. Thank you, Paul. I am so glad that you are here because I think I need your help. Possibly. Possibly. I've been okay. observing. Okay, first thing I'm going to ask is what is the misconception of breathing? Because, you know, all these years I've been breathing, right. but am I doing it wrong? Right. Well, let's talk about functional breathing first. What it actually is about meeting the body's actual true needs as opposed to being in a constant state of fight or flight. So functional breathing is nasal in and out, right? Mm -hmm. It's light, it's quiet, it's diaphragmatic, and it's at a pace of about 10 breaths per minute. Mm. As opposed to the contrast of fast, shallow mouth breathing, which is gonna keep you in a chronic state of stress. I was gonna say stress. So, right, so functional breathing helps you shift from fight or flight to a more calm, balanced state. See, all these years I'm like fighting and I'm, f I, I, so, and I'm running, I need right. to just... So the misconception is that breathing is automatic, right? Mm -hmm. So respiration is automatic, but functional breathing is intentional. Mm. And it's only through the nose in or out. Okay, so... In and out. So David, tell me. Let's, can we do like an exercise? Sure, sure, absolutely. Okay. So I have a little timer here, it's a metronome, so it's gonna be six seconds, you hear that? Mm. So as soon as you hear right. the click, I want you to start exhaling. Do your nose okay. lightly. Inhale lightly, no noise. Don't lift your shoulders. Exhale slowly. So we're just going six seconds in, six seconds out. When you inhale, don't lift your chest or your shoulders and don't make any noise. You okay. Know, you know, right? It, it, so you start feeling kind of calm. So how long do you want to do that? Like somebody's watching. Sure. Uh, how, how long? <clears throat> I always recommend in my students to practice this for uh, 60 minutes a day and 10 minute 60 increments. 60 minutes a day? 10 minute increments, right? Okay. So as soon as you wake up, before you start going, 10 minutes of light breathing before your mind starts racing, mm -hmm. before and after every meal and before bed, you're gonna hit 60 minutes and you're actually going to get into rest and digest mode before you eat. So you're actually gonna digest your food. How did you come up with this? Well, I didn't come up with this. Actually, this has been around for thousands of years, yeah. right? Our ancestors have known about this. Right. They've even been studying this in the elite schools here in you know, universities. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's this simple. If you have to open your mouth to breathe for any reason, whether you're walking, exercising, especially sleeping, then you have dysfunctional breathing. You should be able to accomplish everything through your nose. As soon as you open your mouth to breathe, you're telling your brain there is an emergency mm. and you're gonna drop uh, adrenaline, cortisol, stress hormones, right? Right. Then you're gonna flood your bloodstream with glucose and you're gonna start it, It's so funny you say this because my Garmin watch tells me, hey, you're stressed. Yeah. I don't feel stressed, right, right. but I'm not breathing right. You right. Know? I, need to, I right. need to do more of that. Okay, so what are the real mm. impacts? You're gonna be stressed if you're not breathing sure. right, other impacts. So think about it, <clears throat> if you're breathing incorrectly, you're constantly all day dropping adrenaline cortisol you're overstimulating your nervous system all day long then you're going to try to go to sleep that's going to be impossible you know what i'm thinking right now i'm thinking well maybe that helps you put on weight that you really don't need well if your insulin is up all the time because you're you're breathing incorrectly and you're flooding your body with glucose guess what you're not going to lose weight <clears throat> okay i'm yeah. going to ask you this for a shortcut can i just tape my mouth shut you actually can okay. for sleep, but I highly recommend that you slow down your breathing first. You see, I, got, I know a little bit of something about sleep. Mm -hmm. This is my book here. So when we sleep, your pituitary gland produces vasopressin. It mm -hmm. tells your body to get into a deep sleep and not to get up to pee. There's only one catch. Your mouth has to stay closed. If not, as soon as it opens, fight or flight. Mm, so wow. the key is to slow your breathing down throughout the day, because mm -hmm. how you breathe throughout the day is how you're gonna breathe when you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So if you're in fight or flight all day, you're fight or flight asleep. Wow. So well, you gotta really slow amazing. down your breathing. That is really so amazing. I, I could spend a half an hour with you. Yeah, I could talk <laughs> about it all day. I know, right, all day long. How can folks, how can they uh, find out more? So uh, breatheforwellnessfoundation.org. 
We're located inside Bee's Wellness Cafe and Juicery. That's where we have classes. We do private sessions as well. Right. Okay. Uh, also, you did have a special offer. I totally forgot we about do, that. We do. Yes. From here to the whole month of June, if you book a private session or if you book into our June 15 class, you will get a day pass at Evolve Human Optimization Lab. So if you want to do a cold plunge, show you how to breathe for the cold plunge. Mm. And you do get a wellness consultation, a free wellness consultation at Bee's Wellness Cafe. Well, I'm going to tell you, this was really cool. Uh, we need to have you back on. Absolutely. Okay. I'll be back. All right. All right. Thank you, David. And now I'm going to try to read this without opening my mouth, <laughs> but I can't do it. All right. Up next, if you're looking to add more fun to your 